Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wise Ant answering a question submitted by a student. This question has to do with uh, verifying a trigonometric identity here, uh, which is in the text shown above. And another tutor has already done this by hand, and um, so I'm not going to go down that path. Um, this can be solved by hand, but it's extremely difficult. Uh, Unfortunately, just using uh, trig identities and unit circle uh, is not enough to solve this problem. Uh, it really has to be done by a calculator or by a very lengthy uh, method using quadratic formula. So the, t the uh, student is asking about the use of a calculator, so I just thought I would show you how easy this is to solve uh, using Desmos, which is a very important tool um, that you should become familiar with. The student is probably taking pre-calculus, and I assume the student might be taking an SAT or an ACT soon. Um, there's going to be a new PSAT in the fall of 2023, where Desmos will be provided to you and also Starting in the spring of 2024, Desmos will be provided to you on the SAT. So I think Desmos is a good tool to know for that reason, but it's just a good tool in general. And you can see all that's needed is to type in the two sides of the equation that you want to uh, solve, and then you just click on the points of intersection, and you can see that these points uh, are not quite the same as what the student found. Uh, 1.027 matches, but 2.281 does not match. And that's the, that's, so that's a calculator solution. I just wanted to give you a look at that and um, refer you to uh, Desmos, which is a wonderful resource. OK, so that's it for this question. I hope you find that to be helpful. Bye bye.